Very well organized, Baxter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I believe I saw you recently on television. You're Hazel, aren't you? That's right. And you're Mr. Wheeler. I am. Well, I just want you to know I don't work here. I work next door at the Johnsons. I just came over to give Mr. B a piece of my mind. <laughs> Never mind, Mr. B, I'll do the talking to you and him both now he's here. Messing up a romantic spot like Rainbow Lake and throwing nice old Chet Cooper out of work. It's downright indecent. I don't even know it's constitutional. I guess that about covers it. <laughs> well, I'm going back to the Johnsons. Like I said, that's where I work. I know that. I called them and checked on it. Boy, are you the sneaky one. <laughs> When will the council meeting be over, darling? We're on the agenda for half past ten, so I should be home by noon. Do you think you and Mr. Wheeler will win? Oh, I'm sure of it, darling, so don't worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I just don't want Hazel to be too upset. Oh, Hazel's a sport. She's a good loser. I suppose so. Listen, try to get home for lunch. She's made some of that lamb stew. Hmm, would you mind serving it? Why? Oh, just to be on the safe side. I'd hate to have a bowl of lamb stew dumped in my lap. <laughs> Bye. This unanimous decision on the part of the city council makes it certain that Mr. Wallace Wheeler will soon break ground for his electronics plant. Also on the local front, the directors of the First National Bank have announced... Well, there goes Rainbow Lake down the drain. It was bound to happen, Hazel. There were too many people in favor of it. Sure, a lot too many. Romance ain't what it used to be, Missy. <laughs> Well, we've got city council's approval. Oh, we watched it on television. Congratulations, darling. <laughs> yeah, same for me. Thanks, Hazel. And I want you to see my side of it. Mr. Wheeler's factory will bring employment to a lot of people. Yeah, and unemployment to poor Chet Cooper. It ain't right to take away Chet's canoe business. I still say so, and I'll go on saying so. And I'll get it. <laughs> Well, Chet Cooper, speak of the devil. Hi, Hazel. I'd like to have a word with your boss. Oh. You heard about the lake? Yeah. That's why I want to see Mr. Baxter. He home? Oh, sure. He, he's home. But uh, maybe you ought to wait and kind of think things over, you yeah, know. No need got... for thinking. I'll see him now. <laughs> Mr. Baxter, I know you did the law work at the city council today and... Now, wait a minute, Chet. Take it easy. Don't do nothing you'll be sorry for. I know you feel bad about losing your canoes, but Mr. B was just doing his job. Don't hit him. Hit him? I came here to thank him. <laughs> huh? I'm glad that factory's going in. I promised a job there as a night watchman. Oh. That's nice, but it ain't the same as your old job. Are you kidding? I only stayed on that muddy old pond being chewed by mosquitoes because I had to make a living somehow. Well, Hazel, looks like I won another point. Well, I know one thing they can't take away from me. My memories. Of them glorious nights on the lake. With Gus strumming his uke and me paddling the canoe. <laughs> you remember Gus, don't you, Chet? Uh, can't say as I do. He was a sailor. Yeah, that don't help none. Sailors was almost as thick there as mosquitoes. Wait, I'll go get his picture. I'm delighted in your job, Chet. I'm looking forward to it, Mrs. Baxter. It sure beats listening to that bullfrog serenade every night. <laughs> You'll never get Hazel to agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure shocked Hazel, didn't I? Well, you know how she feels about Rainbow Lake. Anything connected with Gus is very dear to her. There it is. There's Gus. Oh, sure. I remember that guy. He was on the lake every night in the week. No, not every night. Just Thursday nights, my night off. Mm, Thursday's with you. Other nights, other girls. Yes? <laughs> other girls? Always a different one. He was a sort of a uh, seagoing sultan. He told me he had to stay on the ship studying, building up to be an admiral. Oh, never mind, Hazel. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Mr. B, what time does Mr. Wheeler start out there? You'll have the bulldozers there the first thing in the morning. Well, I'll be there, cheering them on with donuts and coffee. <laughs> so that's quite a switch. Well, the way I look at it, Gus ain't gonna find it so easy strumming his yoke on dry land. <laughs>